trouble getting your poop out of your chute? Well, you're not alone. Chronic constipation affects millions of people each year. One way to combat this is the use of over-the-counter laxatives. But you may be wondering, how do I use one and is it safe for me to use it? Today I'll be discussing how to use the over-the-counter laxatives, the safe way, and which ones the doctors recommend most. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Butt Talks. Laxatives. Laxatives are chemical or herbal agents used to loosen up your stools, allowing your waste to move more effectively through your digestive system. You would normally use a laxative if you have symptoms of constipation, such as hard, dry stools, feeling bloated or gassy, straining to poop, or pooping less than three times a week. Constipation can be caused by a number of things such as diet, medication, stress, just to name a few. If you have any of these symptoms, it's time to get off your buddy and take action. Here are some tips while taking laxatives. First and foremost, consult with your doctor or healthcare provider about your situation. If they suggest using a laxative, always read the directions on the bottle, especially if this is your first time using it. If you take more than the recommended dose, you may experience watery stools from diarrhea, abdominal pain and cramping, poopy streaks in your undies when you pass some gas. Yikes, who needs that? But if you're still taking the recommended dose and you're still getting diarrhea, you may have to dial back and find what works best for your body. The key point is to get the stool coming out without being too watery or too hard. Remember to also keep yourself hydrated. Laxatives, no matter what kind, can dehydrate you since you're losing a lot of poop that contains water from your body. This can be dangerous since you're losing electrolytes and causing an imbalance in your body. There are many laxatives you can choose from, and here are the top five laxatives you can take. Number one, Miralax, polyethylene glycol. Miralax is a tasteless and gritless powder that absorbs water into your stools, so it can be soft enough to move through your gut. It mixes well with both cold and warm beverages, such as water, tea, coffee, and juice. Before drinking it, give it a good stir with your spoon so the medication can dissolve easily. Take this laxative for about four days to get your bowels back to the regular schedule. Number two, milk and magnesia or magnesium citrate. Magnesium-based laxatives such as milk and magnesia can help loosen up your stools. They can be found at your grocery store or drugstore. Taking a dose of this can make the stools soft and watery pretty quickly, but don't overdo it. Depending on how your bowels respond, it may leave you dehydrated, so remember to drink plenty of fluids while taking this. If you want something more gentle for your system, try Calm Magnesium as an alternative. However, the same rule applies. Moderation is key. Number three, Senecut. Senecut has a natural ingredient called Senna, which can cause the gut to contract and stimulate the bowels to move out faster. Sometimes the packaging will stay plus stool softener, which is a lubricant added to the laxative. This can cause the stool to be more runny or slippery. This is not meant to be used for a long-term period, even if you are pooping better. You still need to plan out your future with a better lifestyle and diet plan. Take this for a few days and hopefully your bowels will return back to normal as long as you are doing the other things that I mentioned before. Number four, Ducalax Bisocotyl. This can work very quickly and give you instant relief. However, it may cause cramping in the abdomen and even in the butt area. Some people who take this can't predict when or where they're gonna have to poop or are they having a false alarm? <gasps> so if you wanna be close to the toilet, just in case something goes knocking on the rear door. Number five, fiber supplements. This is a powder fiber that can be very helpful to keep the stools from being too hard or too loose. Some fiber supplements include citrus cell, methacellulose, metamucil, psyllium husk. 
Benefiber, wheat dextrin. Many people take both the laxative and the fiber supplement on the same day to balance out their poop. If your bowels are getting better, you can eventually wean off the heavy laxatives and stay in the fiber supplement and diet modifications. But if you need to, take the laxatives occasionally to have a steady poop schedule. Constipation can be a real bummer to deal with, especially when the other methods did not work in the past. Now you know more about laxatives and how to use them. You have more options to choose from. Take back control of your bowels and your life. Your butt will thank you. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!